रामेश्वरन पर मेमोरियल लेक्चर कार्यक्रम को संबोधित कर रही हैं comments which are elected by the people may be belonging to a different party other than from the center so trust is what he underlined i have in the people and people will have to understand that i'm serving them transparently without corruption and that doesn't differentiate between a state which is ruled by a non bjp party or a bjp party ruled state is treated differently all people of india will have to have trust by the government in them and them in us that's the line prime minister always promotes and therefore in in this time at a time when we're discussing about cooperative federalism the attempt is first of all to win the trust of the common people and in that no state can have a difference you can't say modi you're wrong because you're trying to say i want the trust of the people in me and therefore i'm doing this exercise openly you can't say modi you're doing this wrongly because the state government doesn't approve of this method there's nothing in this to be disapproving of and therefore the approach of prime minister modi having been a chief minister is to win the trust of the person not just by getting elected but in everything that he does the money you pay for tax is as worthy for me as the money in my own pocket i have to utilize it to the maximum for the common good so there's no way in which this money gets spent on anything else except for definitely a common cause so in this even as i move the last one the last of the slogan sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas is the sabka prayas it cannot be that india will develop to reach a state of a developed country which is what prime minister modi spoke when he spoke in uh, from the red fort uh, during our independence day speech 2022 it cannot be possible that we will reach a developed country status unless all states are going to be with us all with us meaning all states are going to work together for the common cause unless all people also put their responsibility form that is why the approach of this government is to empower a citizen give him his basic house give him his toilet give him give him his water give him the opportunities that he needs let him be accessible to a bank let him get small amount of loans to run his own business and for that let him not do attestations from the district collector some government employee some somebody and let him also not pledge that little gold his wife might have or even if he doesn't if she doesn't have search for somebody who can give him a guarantee that is why most of the schemes like mudra swalamban all have government guarantee in it the poor doesn't have to go searching for papers and this is why sabka prayas is what is aimed at through empowering him give him the advantages that he needs for basic living and after that he doesn't need anybody's help he'll be able to access his own and decide how he wants to lead his life and his family so empowerment versus entitlement when you do this empowerment versus entitlement you know that there is no way in which just one section or repeatedly the same section or repeatedly the same set of families would say ha huh? i have always had it for 50 years you give me to you give it to me even now whether i deserve it or not no longer the case now the case is if in a street there are 10 families which are entitled for something they will get it there we don't see whether he is my guy or is he wearing a red uniform or is he wearing this or is he doing that none of that he is an indian citizen तो वित्त मंत्री निर्मला सीतारमण को आप सुन रहे थे तिरुवनंतपुरम में वित्त मंत्री निर्मला सीतारमण एक मेमोरियल लेक्चर को वहां पर संबोधित कर रही हैं इस वक्त पे और उनका 